Let's tell us a bit about what he does at, at, at Glasgow Warriors as well, because I mean, well, you offered him your alloc season tickets, allocated yeah, yeah. season tickets. And no, yeah, and he just didn't take them. I, I couldn't understand. I couldn't figure out why he didn't want free tickets for all the games because he loves like deals and stuff. So I thought <laughs> there's no better deal than this. You don't have to pay for tickets. And he was like, No, I want to be in the East Stand. There's more atmosphere there. And I was like, There's a worse view from there. But um, and then I, th I can't remember when I switched onto the trumpet I maybe saw it at home or something and then I heard him at a game and I knew as soon as I heard the trumpet I was like that's definitely him <laughs> and then he's made a brand out of himself as well he's got Twitter pages and stuff yeah. now so but you went into that season with Glasgow already a capped international the first cap was <laughs> in Argentina yeah. wasn't it last summer yeah. take us back to, to um, the memories or the experiences or the, the nerves or the excitement of, of so, that moment yeah funnily enough uh, we I've said this a couple of times before on podcasts, but like my parents were out in yeah. Chile and then the first two tests they flew home. <coughs> and the, the Monday Gregor told us the squad, my parents flew home on the Monday. And I knew that that was always the plan was that they were to go back for the last test. Um, <coughs> so I called dad and said, oh, I'm, I'm starting in the, in the final test. Yeah. And they were having coffee or something. So I just around the corner from the hotel. So I went and met them. And dad's like on his phone the whole time trying to get flights. Um, and he said that it was easier to get back to Buenos Aires but to get up to Santiago del Sol mm -hmm. was impossible but that's um, quite a big thing for your dad because yeah, I mean everywhere. we have to do a wee sidestep here yeah. your dad is the stuff of legends yeah. at Scotson <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. and, and, and frankly the big question is you know all going well if you're on the, on the got a seat on the plane to France is that trumpet going with him yeah, uh, yeah I think it is <laughs> well, he, so he he, um, he loves he's really into his cars uh, and his dream car is of like a Ford Escort Mark One or something. I don't know, MK4 or something. I don't know. His Too dream car is a Ford Escort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's obviously there's obviously a historical. I did not one see that. Oh, he's, yeah, he's into There's a story. Yeah, sorry. Right. <laughs> he's really he was really into rally when he was a kid. Oh, okay. when he was a kid yeah, so ah, Ford Escorts, okay. and he got one two weeks ago maybe. Oh, nice. And he's he parked it up in Presswick, and his plan is to drive it across to France. France and drive it through France. Well, if, that right there's your motive, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> that, yeah, I know, so I need to go. But it was the same when we went to Argentina. I think in maybe like September, October of that season, you know, I wasn't really playing for Glasgow at all, but he'd already booked his flights to Argentina just in case. Oh, um, it must feel nice for you though. And the fact is, and, and just for a bit of context, tell us a bit about what he does at, at, at Glasgow Warriors as well. Because I mean, well, you offered him your season alloc tickets. allocated yeah, yeah. season tickets. Um, no, yeah. And he just didn't take them. I, I couldn't understand. I couldn't figure out why he didn't want free tickets for all the games because he loves like deals and stuff. So I thought, <laughs> there's no better deal than this. You don't have to pay for tickets. And he was like, no, I want to be in the East Stand. There's more atmosphere there. And I was like, there's a worse view from there. But um, And then I, th I can't remember when I switched onto the trumpet. I maybe saw it at home or something. And then I heard him at a game. And I knew as soon as I heard the trumpet, I was like, that's definitely him. <laughs> and then he's made a brand out of himself as well. He's got Twitter pages and stuff. Is he, uh, is he musically orientated? Like, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Day so, job, yeah. Uh, yeah, so he used to, no, not a day job, no, but he played, he was in like orchestras when he was right, a kid. Okay, so and he plays the trumpet. It's not just self taught for. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. <laughs> he used to be in a, like a, an orchestra when we were kids ah, and yeah. he played the trumpet. So he had a big, like, brass trumpet. Obviously, the wee thing he brings to Scotland is a plastic thing. Um, <laughs> But um, but you can hear him. And, you can hear and him. He's, yeah, you he's can. behind. He is one hundred percent part of the Warrior Nation. Your dad. <laughs> he's got the, the laminated placards and everything for the words <laughs> the, for everyone to sing along. But but he never made it to Argentina. No, he didn't. He didn't make it back. No, back I, I, I part of me thought he was going to just appear because um, <laughs> it's something he would do. Yeah, in a Ford Escort, a noisy Ford Escort, losing the back end in the corner. But no, he didn't. He didn't. He unfortunately didn't make it. So the first time they watched would have been. Australia yeah. in the Nations. That was so that was nice. Yeah, no, it was well, nice decent, to have them. Decent there as well. try. Yeah, yeah. 